Hi, we are going to talk about web designing. Before going with the web designing, I want to share something great information about my certified ethical login course. So I'm going to conduct a hundred hours of ethical login course for 20 days with the 10 technologies covering. So the specialty of the program is 2D and 3D training I'm going to give. And it's a live class I'm going to conduct. And here is the list of uh, like your topics I'm going to cover it in my session. The session is based on the English and the Tamil version. The English version is from May 25 to June 13 and the Tamil version is in June 1 to June 20. Apart from that we got registration links and everything in the description of the video and if you were want, looking for a customized date yes I am ready to give the customized date for you. Whenever you want you can contact me I am ready to help you. The timing is flexible 100% practical training I am going to give. It covers 800 terminologies, 240 topics, 60 sessions, 180 hacking tools and 2 hacking operating system, Curly Linux and Parrot OS. Hope you will like, uh, love this video like, and uh, love this uh, course and uh, hope we will meet in the course. I am ready to help you. It's going to be the best technology session you will get it from me and if you're looking for any web designing courses or internships or any projects you can contact me anytime via online or you can come to my office to learn it from directly from me and here is a contact number on my, my website okay here is the video starts what is web designing why we are going for web designing let's have a small story man so here is the story like I got a patient I he want to like um, get admitted in a hospital for a treatment so once the treatment is over he'll be paid bill so he'll be charged with something based on his like a uh, based on like a uh, what is treated so the hospital is generating a bill and it is given to the customer and the customer will be getting the bills and it will be like uh, the customer will be paying the money to the particular uh, billing department and the bill is generated this is how the normal process will happen previously in the ages in the old ages we'll have a manual bills of writing hey 100 rupees is the bill man no it's not the way now at present in the market the reason is like we got a lot of advancement happening now we got software okay that's why the software started coming generating bill paying bill and the receipt for the bill everything is software so that's why it happens the situation is like the treatment the building and the payment everything is in one area then it is called intranet everything is happening in inside a network inside a place itself so there is no problem i faced okay because everything is everything is uh, uh, like a, it's synchronized and they are nearby the process is very simple and we everything happened in a small network itself and the networking environment they call it as intranet and the application which we are using it to create this kind of project is called desktop application or they call it as windows application but there is a situation happen like a where i got an issue of like a paying money via online so because the people are like outside the networks so if the people are out like inside the networks there is no problem if they are out of the network there is a problem happen where the people will be accessing via the internet world so the uh, like, uh, treatment is one area, billing is another person is doing and the bill like uh, the, the bill generation, the payment divisions of the hospital is in different area. Then we got different networks and I need to like integrate it. Okay, so over there like uh, we need some of the different environment that's where your internet comes in the picture. Okay, and it happens via the world wide web and the application created is called as the web applications. So there are many companies they are generating this kind of applications and they got softwares to create this kind of applications. We'll talk about those things in my the later part of this video. So this is how we got three different parts where the connection is via the World Wide Web and everything is happened in the internet and the application created is a web applications. Now we'll talk about the web components now. So if you talk about the web components, uh, three major things are there. The one thing is like I'm accessing my browsers. That is called a web client. They call it as web client. And you got uh, like uh, the website and everything is stored somewhere. They call it as a web server. And everything, every all the data is stored somewhere. They call it as database. Okay. So server, database, it's web databases happen. Okay. These are the major three components available. Apart from that, we got a DNS servers in World Wide Web is dns server mapping your website with the ip address is called a dns server okay let's talk about like how to find your website's ip address i'm going to give a command ping the website name you'll be getting a reply with an ip address 
and this IP address is called as this I have the, the, the website is available in this particular server and the server's IP address is listed okay so this is the command used to find where my website is sitting and I'm going to show you like how we are able to find the speed of the website from different area okay for that I found something different hey my website is working good in US my website is working good in Australia but it's not working in Spain why so I'm able to find it so identify the speed of the website from different countries I use this website asm.ca.com slash en slash ping dot php once you give the IP address you are able to see so website name Bulgaria India Australia US China everywhere you're able to see their timing to reach the website the minimum round time so this is the IP address to reach this IP address minimum round time average and maximum so we are able to see India Bangalore is a bit like it's slower so in that case we'll be focusing more to make the website faster in a particular country this is a fantastic tool which is available in the internet for free of cost to check it out like from where your website is too slow so that you can improvise it so that the users will have a very good experience now let's move on to the web components further like how this dns works if we talk about the dns like a dns is nothing but domain name server so this dns will have the mapping of the website name and the ip address you are able to see wikidiki.com it's a commercial because it's dot com so this is a domain name like you are able to find the domain like in which area of the domain this website belongs to the commercial over here like if it is org it's organizational dot au it's australia dot in is india and every website will have an ip address now and mapping this website name and the ip address is done by a great person called dns servers which is available which is which is part of your worldwide web now the user is there and he is typing a wikidiki.com in that case you will be having three things you'll be having mac address you'll be having ip address and the website name it started moving towards the worldwide web automatically worldwide web will, the dns servers will automatically map this is the website name for that this is the IP address they will map it you are able to see the mapping of the IP address and the website name the IP address is identified and it's go to the server and it will check the server and if the request is genuine the web server will send you the website back to you so and now you are able to access your website this is how your DNS servers will work Yes, you are able to see it here so I got my request processed and now my website is coming now the user is viewing the website now so this is how the normal DNS servers and the normal internet connectivity is working. Now let's talk about the technology further like uh, the web components and uh, the designing components for your web designing. So the companies, major companies playing this role are Microsoft, Oracle Corporation and the Apache. It's an open source and they are creating the web cre website creation technology .NET, Java and PHP where over, over here you are able to see like uh, the databases is your SQL Server, your Oracle and MySQL, these are the databases available and uh, to store this website uh, into a place and to process it, uh, we need a server that is called a web servers for Microsoft, it's Microsoft IIS, for Java it's Tomcat and PHP it's Apache. It's not that .NET will only talk to the SQL Server, it will talk to the other database also. Okay, this is how the technology started. Now, let's talk about the basic of web designing. It's with HTML, a hypertext markup language with the tags. It's there. So it will have a lot of tags. So I'll talk about those things in the latest slide. And uh, I'll be talking more on HTML in my what is HTML video. Don't worry. And the HTML will have a head and a body. The head will have a title and the body will have the like, uh, parts and everything. This is how your HTML page structures will be. Okay, usually like the yeah, website will have three major components available. The one is header, the other one is content, the third one is footer. The header will have the website name and logos and everything. And the bottom footer will have contact us, maybe like blogs or maybe like a copyright information, everything. And the body will have all the details about the website. From there, like uh, if the, the history is uh, the basic HTML, if you want to make it stronger, stronger in the sense like uh, validations and uh, like a uh, like a security of that particular HTML, it will become a JavaScript. Using JavaScript, you are able to give a structure, very, very strong structure for HTML. From there, I want to give some designings and everything, your CSS comes to the picture. Okay, so as I told you, the HTML will take care of headings, paragraphs and lists. Whereas like in JavaScript, you, you are able to do a lot of dynamic displays, validations, widgets, user iterations and pop-up messages and everything. Whereas the CSS will have the font, color, backlog, 
orders and everything these are the things very very important to create a perfect web page now i'll talk about the static and dynamic websites what is static websites see i got my kashi infotech conducting internships i shown everything that is a static website what is the dynamic websites will be having hey you can you can register via my website your dynamic comes with a picture so as i told you technology wise html with the javascript and the css will become a static website whereas in dynamic websites you will have a combination of your html javascript css plus php and mysql if it is integrated then it's a dynamic website so this is how you are able to create your websites based on your requirements hope you enjoy this video and if you got any doubts you can contact me at any time with my insta account kashiv infotech and apart from that if you got any doubts you can contact me via my direct number here is my number you can contact me at any time for any career guidance and uh, Okay, if you like this video, please like this video. Okay, please give a like button to the video and you can subscribe to my channel. Please share this to your friends. This is Venkat signing out from Wikidiki. Ashu in Thank you.